to make our biodiesel we take um, waste animal fats, we take waste oils and we react it through several processes to make a biodiesel. What we do is when the feedstock comes in, we test it in the lab to gauge the quality of it. This is then put into a tank called the pre sterification tank where we add two chemicals, we add sulfuric acid and we add methanol to kick start the reaction. After this is um, been heated and stirred and left to settle. It's then moved into the second phase called the transesterification phase. This is where the ester then is formed. We add a catalyst of potassium hydroxide and methanol which is mixed together separately prior to this and then we add methanol in excess. This is um, reacted again at a temperature of around 56 degrees and left to settle. After it's settled, we react it one more time using less quantities of the same chemicals. After this, we then wash the product. We wash it with an acidified water. This is then put through into the distillation product. Distilling our biodiesel, or by this point our crude fame, is very important because of the low-end waste products that we take in to produce our high-end biodiesel. Without this distillation process we wouldn't meet those European standards. Here is an example of some of the starting materials that we have um, through into the process. The first one we have is the tallow. We then go through into the used cooking oil and we also have an example here of the catalyst which is used during the reaction. After it's been reacted we then have the crude fame which after distillation goes through to give us a nice pure biodiesel. One of the great things about the production of our biodiesel is that it actually produces two very high value side pro um, co-products, one of which is fertiliser and the second one is glycerine which can be used in many different industries.